back to my channel. Today is Saturday, July 24th. It's about 6.30 in the morning. I'm on my balcony because it's my most favorite place in the whole apartment. Also, I have like a groggy voice um, because like I said, I just woke up. Um, drinking my tea and journaling this morning because it's always the first thing that I do when I wake up. I just reflect on how it is that I'm feeling, what I've been up to, uh, what are my plans for today, what are my intentions, and um, I also like give a little recap of what I did the day before. It's just going to be really nice for down the road when I want to look back on things and also just helps to like let things out if something was bothering me or um, you know I felt emotional about something it's, it's better just to let it out even if it just means writing it out than keeping it in so yeah I have a really exciting video uh, planned for you guys today I thought to myself with my birthday coming up my birthday is July 25th by the way so tomorrow and so yeah, I thought to myself, like, what can I do for my birthday that is going to be something that's unforgettable, something that's really, really special, something that, you know, captures this time in my life, um, something spontaneous. And I thought to myself, well, I, I kind of still want to keep it a surprise. Um, let's just say I'm go I booked a hotel. Um, it's about an hour and a half away from here, like plane ride. So I'm jumping on a plane um, at 8.40. So I'm going to leave here at around 7. I'm already packed. I was up until 1 last night, 1 a.m., which never happens. I'm in usually in bed by like 10, 10.30 at the latest. But I was up answering questions on my Instagram, and I was out with a couple of the girls last night. So... Also, I was just too excited to sleep. It was like the anticipation, like Christmas morning all over again. But, um, yeah, I, no, I'm just going to say it. I may or may not be doing a hot air balloon ride for my birthday tomorrow. And a lot of planning has, I mean, a lot of planning has gone into it, but also not a lot either. I booked this like a couple days ago, and they already have shuttle arranged for me when I get there to get me from the airport to the hotel. Um, I'm saying it's a really beautiful hotel with like the most amazing view of the hot air balloons. And then tomorrow at like 5 a.m. is the hot air balloon ride and I come back tomorrow night. So I'm literally just there for one night. But if you know me, you know that I usually am the kind of person that will celebrate my birthday for like the whole month of July rather than just the day like I'll find any excuse to go out and get dinner or you know do fun things because it's my birthday month but I don't know why my birthday has always been something that's so like special to me I think because it's a time where all my closest friends and family come together and it's like a way for you to look back past year of your life and how much you've grown, the obstacles and the challenges that you face, but you know, um, you come out on the other side and I guess I'm just looking at a way to make this like the most memorable birthday because I can't celebrate it with my family and my friends, which makes me really upset. So I thought to myself, well, what can I do? that will make it one that I'll remember forever, I'll never forget. I thought, while I'm here, I might never get this opportunity again to go do the higher balloon ride. So, that's the intro to today's video. Um, I'm really, really, really excited. And it should be fun. So, Stay tuned and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit.
Okay, I made it. Um, it was really scary coming out from here though because they hold up your name, like a reservation, and then they're also like taxi, 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 and like nobody's holding up the sign, so I didn't know where I was supposed to go. But I found my name, and I'm just waiting because I guess we take a lot of other people with us. But yeah, my screen is so dirty, I can't even see myself. But yeah, the flight was super short. I wanted to nap, but I couldn't. I was just too excited. So I just listened to the music and now we'll be going and hopefully I get early check-in because if not, I have to wait around until two and I'm so hungry, I didn't eat this morning. But yeah, I'll let you know what happens next. Oh my God, guys, I made it. It's literally like something out of a fairy tale. Look at how beautiful this is. showed you guys my hair since I got it done um, I've yet to wash it and I've been like so busy and I'm trying not to use heat on my hair so I just threw it in my bun but yes this is the room so um like a little mirror and desk there's like a 500 year old room um, but I want to show you guys like the outside and like what the lobby and the breakfast area and the roof is like amazing. Just showing you my room. I showed you the photo. Interesting. This is kind of noisy, but. But yeah, it's super clean. It's very nice. like being in my room like when there's so much to do and so much to see so uh, I'm gonna let my phone charge for a little while while I get ready and then we'll be off to the museum I think or um, maybe I can do a tour I'm not sure yet it's only like one o'clock so I have all day and all night you know what time I have to get up for the hot air balloon tomorrow 3 45 a.m. So I have to go to bed early. Okay. Well, I'm having the best time. It's so beautiful here. I wish I didn't have to leave tomorrow. Like I wish I had more time to explore. But I do want to just see like the lobby and stuff. I'm gonna show you that too. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna show you what the outside looks like. This is the first time I'm really seeing my hair. It's been down, and I don't like it. I think it's too blonde, but that's okay. I'm not gonna talk about it. My room.
my whole entire life like this is like I literally On your list turkey I'm telling you I don't know why it's like so underrated it's literally amazing everyone is so nice here you have to ever I'm having so much fun I gotta go no so I still have a ways to go um what I was saying was don't get me wrong I'm having a great time I that's just been in the back of my mind lately and I feel like I should address it because it's been bothering me a lot and it's been keeping me from like really being able to enjoy myself and it's just the fact that like I'm super grateful to have been, to be traveling right now to be in a country as beautiful as Turkey I love it here. I love that I'm able to celebrate my birthday. That um, I'm doing a hot air balloon and like just getting away from the city for a while. But what's holding me back is just the modeling part of why I'm here. I knew that coming into this that Turkey was very well known for its role in the fashion industry. I think it's one of the largest exports of textiles and clothes. So I knew I would be working for and posing for fast fashion brands. But I didn't think that it was going to have such a major impact. Here. I don't know if that makes sense. I just, I can't stop thinking about how I'm, I don't know if it's indirectly or directly helping to exploit workers here. And I wish that 
I had more of a say and I could play a bigger part in stopping the um, unethical process of clothes making here but I'm still just so new I I don't exactly know what to say I need to start <laughs> I've been trying to research on how I can start having an individual um, impact what I can do to spark change and start a conversation and just be more aware of what's going on. That's not a good time for me to touch on this. I should be doing it when I'm not like hiking up a mountain. But I hope you guys know where I'm coming from. Or like, yeah, where I'm coming from, it's just hard because I feel like I'm at a crossroads. Like I love modeling and I love this. I love being able to travel. But I just know that I feel like I should be doing more. So I just thought I would explain quickly where I am. I am at the <coughs> my pamphlet. Um Drum Open Air Museum. It um has like 61 um not churches but cathedrals kind of like entranceways and this is the map. Right now you can see that is the Last Supper. That's the Last Supper as well as this is like a table that they would have sat at. And I'm about to go upstairs into where the like, mass would have taken place. Okay, you're probably sick of seeing my face. But another thing I'll just mention quickly is that I wish I had somebody to experience this with. I think that's why I'm like just a little bit sad at the moment is because, not sad, because I'm having a lot of fun and I'm proud of myself for being able to come fly here and just, you know, do my own thing. I don't need anybody else to make me happy, but it would be cool to have somebody on this journey with me to experience it because it's beautiful and yeah, that's all I really want to say. Alibaba. Alibaba? Yes. Oh, hello. My oh. eyes are watering. But I think I have enough photos now. Not gonna lie, there's a guy here that is following me around. He works here. Followed me on Instagram. He's like, how come you didn't follow me back? Could be, uh, sorry, I forgot. And I didn't mean to. Just trying to take photos in peace. Oh my gosh. Now that it's like eight photos. Sorry. I'll try again. Dinner. I have reservations at this place called the Beck. Um, I made the guy at the front desk call and make a reservation for me. I don't know, I'm nervous to go eat by myself. I think because it's like a pretty classy place and I'm going and eating by myself. And I want a kebab. Kebab? Kebab? I forget, 
they're called something different here, but it's like, kind of like a kebab. Apparently they're really good because they use like pottery, they use like clay pots to grill or to, oh my God, heat up the meat. <laughs> yeah, this is my outfit. Let's go in this bathroom. I have a neck, like a really chunky gold necklace I could wear, but I feel like it's gonna be too much. But yeah, I also have heels. I'll show you. I don't know if I should wear them again. I wear them. Oh, you catch your breath a lot. They're really good. Like, they would go well with the dress. I just don't know. It's too much. But yeah. And then I have to be up super early tomorrow, so dinner with a great view because I requested a good view and then come home, go to bed, and get up early tomorrow. So today's been a really good day. It's been really long, really fun, did a lot, saw a lot, and now I'm hungry. So I'll talk to you guys later. Hi guys. Okay, I just got home from dinner. It is 9.09, I got myself dessert to take home. I swear, they fed me like a freaking queen. Um, it was too cold, so I didn't want to sit out on the roof, so I ended up just sitting inside um, on the floor. That's the first time. They have like all these little cushions set up and round tables, and I ordered the kebab, which I thought was on a stick, but really they um, make it in a clay pot. And then she smacked it and then poured it on my plate. And I got the vegetarian ones that had mushrooms, peppers, potatoes, yeah. And um, I came with salad, all kinds of good stuff. I also had a glass of wine, which I don't drink really, really ever. And then I also got this acai, that's what it's called. It's like a, a traditional dish here. It smells like peanut butter has molasses, great molasses, oil, and dough. So I'll try it after. I'm just getting ready for bed because I have to be up really early tomorrow. But the reason why I'm getting on here is just because I thought now would be the perfect time to sort of like look back on this last year and talk about how much I've grown and um, how proud I am. I am today. Obviously, it hasn't been easy. This last year has been really hard on I mean, all of us. Um, I'm going to get ready for bed and talk at the same time, but I should also charge my camera. Oh, I'm using my camera. Okay, also, it's kind of loud, but yeah, I mean, who would have thought that I would be in Turkey modeling for three months? Like, let alone now I'm here in Capricodia doing a hot air balloon for my birthday tomorrow. Like, what is my life? I don't even understand. I'm the luckiest girl in the whole entire world. But at the same time, it's taken a lot of, like, courage and a lot of, um, like, oh my god. Literally, why is it when I turn the camera on, I can't talk? Um, a lot of like, not caring what other people think. That's, at the end of the day, I think that's what's most important. Um, just doing what it is that makes you happy and living in the moment. And I don't know. I feel like this last year, even just six months, after moving out on my own, my whole life has like flipped upside down in the best way possible. I've finally figured out what it is that I want in life. You know, that I figured out I'm deserving of everything. Um, I'm beautiful, I'm smart, I'm capable of anything that I put my mind to. And I used to be super, super insecure all the time. I would in every single sort of like relationship I've ever been in, I've always felt myself pulling back um, or pushing away because I've always felt not good enough. 
like, you know, I'm not pretty enough, I'm not smart enough, I'm not this, I'm not that. When now I finally am in a place where I'm like, yeah, no, I'm deserving of love, I'm deserving of wealth, I'm deserving of everything. Like, and I know what it is that I want. I want to make an impact on this world. I want to make a difference. I don't. I can't just sit around and watch life go by. I need to embrace it, and I want to be the change that I want to see in the world. So. Yeah, I'm just really going on a rant. Should we try this now? Okay, let's try. change your life however you want whenever you want that makes sense does that make sense like don't sit around waiting for somebody to tell you that you should do something you should just go after it I don't know if I've ever oh I think I talked about this before but if I can do this anybody can do this you guys can do this because like I said, I've been told like through so many agencies on my camera since I died. I don't even know if this is modeling is what I want to do. Modeling is not going to be my whole life. It's not going to last forever, and I know that. That's why I'm just enjoying the time now that I get being able to travel while I'm young. But really thinking about what it is that I want to pursue and how modeling can help me get to where I want to be. I think it's given me a way different perspective on things. Um, there's 188 of you subscribed and you don't know how much that means to me. Just to think that we have a little community of our own. This is really growing on me. I ate a lot today, but it's my birthday. That's my excuse for everything. It's my birthday, it's okay. I finally FaceTimed my dad today, because I didn't tell him I was coming. And I thought to myself, if something were to happen, I would probably want them to know that I wasn't at the apartment, you know, where I set my address. I'm here, an hour light away. I should probably let them know where I am. And I was like, before you get mad at me for buying a plane ticket and coming here to go on a hot air balloon ride, hear me out. And my dad was actually very happy for me. He was like, oh my gosh, that's amazing. He's like, everyone's told me that you need to do it. You might as well, it's your birthday. Will you FaceTime me tomorrow so I can Get out here with your mom, and you can tell us all about it, so. I'm 
money comes and goes. But before my camera dies, let me think of one piece of advice I can give you to end this off. It's already this is a ten minute clip. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um. Keep calm and carry on. Is that how it goes? Those t-shirts, remember how everyone used to have those shirts called say keep calm? You can do different things. Keep calm. That's my piece of advice. Wow. Am I drunk after one glass of wine? Let's just end this right now. While well, we still can. Okay, good night. Mmm. Uh -uh. mm. Three o'clock in the morning. Why am I up? They better not be playing with me. Because I have to be down there at 3.45. Also, my eyes are dry as shit. I'm going back to sleep. Good night. minutes ago from the hot air balloon ride this is a very good angle um and oh my god guys it was like something out of a movie it was the most beautiful and amazing thing i've ever done in my whole entire life it was so peaceful and relaxing and just to think that we're just floating in the air being held up by this balloon in some hot air and here we are just like hanging out in a basket with one another. No training, no nothing. The instructor or the guy who was controlling the balloon, his name is Mufasa. Oh my God, he was so funny. And um, they knew it was my birthday because I had told them that it was my birthday. So they sang me happy birthday. I blew out some candles. They had a cake for me. We popped champagne and everybody was so nice. I even got a medal. And I think I might have a bag. A medal and a diploma, like a certificate. It was so much fun. And um, I may have met somebody as well. But okay, long story short, what had happened was we got picked up this morning from our hotels, and there was this really cute guy who was getting on the same bus as me and he looked like he was here by himself. So I thought, oh, he's pretty cute. Maybe I'll make like a move and see where he's at. Cause I've always had this idea that I'm gonna meet somebody on vacation and it's just going to be like kind of love at first sight. And um, we get to our, uh, the place where we're paying for this air balloon and 
we're eating our breakfast and I'm journaling. I'm writing my my um, diary, I guess you can call it. I do it every morning. And he comes over and he's like, hey, do you mind if I join you? And I'm like, no, sure, go ahead. You can sit right there. <laughs> and he is from Stockholm, Sweden. Um, he's turning 28 on my grandma's birthday on the 27th and you see this is the problem because we ex we didn't technically exchange Instagrams I asked him to show me his because he's a photographer so I wanted to see his work and then he was like well I want to see your modeling photos so I showed him but we never actually like followed one another so then they call us this is my medal by the way Okay, whatever. Uh, it says butterfly balloon. So yeah, they're calling us over to get ready to go on our flight and, oh my God, I have a banana in here. That's all gross now. Okay, so they call us over to get ready to go on our flights and we get separated because he's going with a different instructor. Um, so I didn't even get to say like, good luck with your flight. Um, I'll wave to you, have a good rest of your trip. Oh, and get this, he's coming to Istanbul like in a few days. So that's where I am. We could always hang out, but I don't know. We'll have to see what happens. I remember the last photo he showed me on his Instagram. It was when he was in Jordan um, and the location. So I can always maybe check that tag and see if I can find it. Cause I remember the photo pretty clearly, but I don't know if he's even like private or not. But yeah, now I'm off to breakfast and I'm gonna go do some walking around and I gotta get ready cause like I leave tonight, which is so sad considering I just got here. But yeah, I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Happy birthday! Okay guys, let's end this video on a good note as I uh, explore the last few hours I have here in Capricornia. <laughs> Uh oh, let me get right over. Um, you have to pay like three Turkish children to walk up this hill to come see the viewpoint. But I told him it was my birthday, so he didn't make me pay. Everyone here is so flippin' nice. Ava went to a restaurant and I wanted to get a dessert because my birthday. And they told me, oh yeah, don't pay. We'll just give you one. So they gave me a dessert. You guys, like, look. I got cut off because I'm ran running out of storage on this memory card. But let's just finish it off with one final happy birthday, Aaron. Um, 23 is going to be the best year yet. Um, there's going to be so many amazing opportunities, places to go, people to meet. Um, but let's end it off on one final goodbye. Capricodia, thank you everything and um, I'll talk to you guys in my next video. <laughs>